looks like we have another aid for the meat grinder. This is basic training. I am the Assistive Intelligence Director. A poor choice of acronym in my synthetic opinion. Let's get you caught up to speed so you don't die right out of warp. Look at the palm of your left hand. This is the mission display hand menu. It will show mission objectives. You can use it to follow along with my instructions. Let's start with the strategic hollow display. This interactive map displays the real-time state of the battlefield. Slightly important if you are a commander. To move the map, use the grip with one hand to pan in any direction. Try that now, move the map away from you. Good. Monkey see, monkey can do. To scale and rotate the map, grip with both hands to manipulate. Scale up the map and zoom in, try that now. Controlling the map will be vital to your command abilities. Increasing difficulty level 2, 0. Now for more interesting stuff. To select a unit, hover over the radar blip with your controller pointer and use trigger. This will also work when a unit is not within arm's reach because you have short human limbs. Select the unit now. Once a unit is selected, you can view its details by looking at the hand menu you selected with. This shows you the unit's health and shield strengths. This orange number is the unit's supply which is needed to use active abilities. Bullets are expensive. These slots will be for abilities, which we will cover in a moment. You can quickly center your map by pressing down on thumb. Thumbs, without them you're just another space-faring animal. You now know how to control the map and select units, let's issue commands. To move a unit, select and trigger plus hold to start the move command. Then release at the location you want the unit to move to. There will be times when you need to issue a move command to a location beyond arm's reach. Elastic tentacles would have been my evolutionary choice. Use the long distance move command first by select and trigger plus hold. Then point the controller to the radar grid floor and release to issue the move. Move your ship to the highlighted retreat zone. That will be a very useful technique for moving your units from anywhere. All maps will have a retreat warp zone. If you don't believe in no-win scenarios, you can ignore this part. Move all your ships into the zone and you can warp them out to escape a bad situation. Any ship not within the zone will be left behind so be careful. Since I don't have all day, speed up your ship's movement with an activated ability. First select your ship to view the ship details in your hand menu. Use trigger on the afterburner ability to give a short speed boost to your ship. Try activating that ability now. Excellent. You learn quickly. My last monkey. I mean, Cadet, was incinerated. Abilities will be your main actionable tools during a fight. They can be targeted or self-cast indicated by the symbol. The cost in supply is noted here. 
Let's move on to multiple ship command as more is always better. An ally unit has been spawned. Now you finally have a friend. To form a battle group, select the unit and trigger plus hold like a move command. Then release trigger over an allied unit. Try it now. Confirmed. Like best buddies, they will stay in formation with the group leader. To break a formation, simply tell a group unit to move to a location. Let's try some combat. The part you have been waiting for. Difficulty level increased to 1. Enemy Your ships detected. will automatically engage enemy ships within range because they are not incompetent. But on the rare occasion that you might know better, you can specifically assign targets, trigger plus hold to select move, then release over an enemy to assign the target. Oh, assign a target to your flagship now. Roger. Your crew is hungry. For battle. Your command! I'm on it! I do love the smell of explosives in the morning. The hollow display will show projectiles, hits, and damage dealt during combat. Large-scale combat can be overwhelming. Luckily we have drugs to fix that. Victory. Look at your right hand. The time warp button will inject copious amounts of narcotics to heighten awareness and slow the passing of time. Toggle time warp now. Exit time warp and sober up. Welcome back to reality. Let's talk shields. Each ship has four shield arcs in each direction. Seemed like the safe thing to do. Once enough damage has been taken, the shield will collapse and expose the hull in that direction. You can then deal direct damage to the ship's vulnerable hull or squishy subsystems. Select the enemy ship to view its details on your hand. Your enemy subsystems can be targeted to reduce the effectiveness of that ship. Hull is targeted by default and will damage the ship directly. Targeting weapons will slow the enemy's fire. Damaging shields will drain the remaining arcs and collapse all arcs if it reaches zero. Lastly, engine damage will obviously slow the enemy down. Also obviously preventing escape. Target the enemy weapon subsystem now. I don't like how those turrets are pointed at us. Let's use an attack ability since he's being stubborn. Select your flagship to view its details. Use trigger plus hold and drag out from the EMP missile. Then release over the enemy to fire. Try this now. Missile away. That should weaken his shield. Awaiting orders! The enemy is using an active ability. What a jerk. Your corvette has been destroyed. How tragic and totally not planned. But there is still a chance to save the captain and crew. Move your ship over the skull icon to rescue them before the timer runs out. Look at your right hand. Activate the ship command button.
welcome aboard your ship. She may not look like much, but she's got it where it counts. In this mode you can directly command your ship. The screen behind me is your ship's status. It displays your ship's health, shield arc strengths, available supply, and ship speed. Okay. Eyes up here. The left panel is your speed and power management controls. You can adjust each bar by using trigger plus hold and sliding handle up or down. Adjust the large ship speed bar to full. Try that now. Now we are getting somewhere. The center navigation wheel is where you steer the ship. Use grip on the handle and hold to adjust the ship's direction. Great. Now you can hopefully point the ship in the general direction of the enemy. Speaking of the enemy, the right panel here shows your current target, which is nothing. When you have visual confirmation of the enemy ship, simply use the controller to ice can hover and use trigger to target just like before. Look around to find an ice can to target the enemy now. Now that we have a target, we can open fire. All the information on the enemy is here. By default you are in manual fire mode. Which means you have to shoot yourself. I mean, use the, the trigger while holding the helm with grip to open fire. Get the enemy in front of you within your weapon arc and open fire on the enemy now. Target panel also has the subsystem targeting available. Since we are trying to kill him, subsystem target the hull now. Keep an eye on the overcharge meter, it will build over time when not firing. Use that to unleash all your firepower at the right opportunity. Looks like they are shooting back, we should pump up our firepower a bit. Turn the weapon's power setting to max to increase our fire rate.
have full command. Use what you have learned to destroy the enemy. The map display is enabled. You can toggle back to helm controls from the right hand menu. Good luck. Now show me how not to be incinerated. Destroy the enemy ship. Excellent. Congratulations on your first kill. I have nothing more to teach you. Move your ship over the upgrade point to collect it. They won't be needing it. show you. You have completed the tutorial. Congratulations. You can warp out once a mission is completed or failed from your left hand mission menu.